Okay, today we are working on a foredge painting that will be a concealed foredge painting. I've done the painting on the foredge, obviously, and now I'm about to uh, cover it up, conceal it. I'm doing a graphite edge on top of this, so I quickly smear on some paste, a very thick paste. Spread it out evenly. And then add graphite powder. Okay, that's kind of scary. Yes, it is. To watch. Well, it's, it can be a little nerve-wracking, but it gets worse because now you have to start smearing the graphite in and it looks like it's not working at all. It just looks like you're making a mess, which you kind of are. And it gets really scary when it looks like nothing is sticking and it's just wiping off. But you wipe and you wipe and you wipe off the excess. And eventually it starts coming together. Still a bit much on there, and a bit liquidy, but this is not a clean process, and you're definitely going to want to clean up your press afterwards, or your next book gets all black. That looks so cool. Okay, it's starting to get thicker. And, and colors aren't revealed as I'm wiping it as much, so. Now, how long does it take to dry before you can? Oh, it really doesn't take very, the pages. very long at all, but I tend to use my secret weapon <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have the time or the luxury to let it just sit here. So some gentle heat. Our patience. Mm -hmm. Our patience. Mm -hmm. Then it needs to be burnished with a soft rag. Let's see if I let it dry enough. I'm burnishing it very gently at first. And it's still a little, a little too damp for that. When it is dry, you see that it starts, this cloth starts giving it a nice luster.
and just like any edge treatment that involves a colored edge you can go back later with a little bit of wax if you want to give it a really really uh, tight polish I don't particularly want to on this copy but that's certainly something you can do is there a reason why you don't want to on this copy like aesthetics or yeah I think this one just needs to be a little a little more rustic this isn't going to be a totally uh, you know royal kind of binding it's supposed to be a middle range <laughs> binding so it doesn't get all the bells and whistles just most of them <laughs> <clears throat> and there we go. There's some build up on that edge. Yeah, the edges do and get brushed off. But most of that will fall off when we open it up and fan it. And what's interesting is now all that carbon which gets all over your fingers is now pretty much on there. Very, very little will come off. And after we fan it, anything that will come off will, will come off then. And then we're left with a very, very permanent covering. Okay, so our graphite edge is on the book, nice and solid. Uh, we pulled it out last night and I decided it needed a little extra time to dry to make sure it was just absolutely well adhered. So we put it back in the press and now it is sat there overnight and we're going to pull it out. A uh, little bit of background on this book. It is a historical rebind. The text block is from 1876. So we wanted a, a painting style that from that time period. Um, the building that it showcases is a building from that era. Um, we didn't want this painting to be bright and shiny and new. Uh, it needed to look like it's been on there for uh, you know 100 plus years. So when we, when we reveal it, it'll, it should be nice and dulled down and have a little patina of age on it. So let's go ahead and pull it out of the press. And there it is. <laughs> we can just do this all day. It's just yeah, so, fun. so fun. One more time. <laughs> it's kind of, that is so cool. So that is a concealed. Concealed four edge painting under a graphite edge. All right.